Merchandise Financial Planning, Chapter 1, Session 6, Receipt Planning, and Open to Buy. Receipt planning occurs during the pre-season planning process. The planners use historical data combined with their knowledge of what happened last year. They will then make decisions on the flow of the receipts as they plan to ensure there's enough inventory to meet the sales target. Open to buy planning occurs in season. Think of the open to buy as your buyer's bank account set by the planners. Actualization occurs and is combined with the plan data creating a blended plan. It's with this blended plan that the planners will revise their receipt plans to support what is currently happening with the future forecast. If sales are trending up, planners may need to add or bring forward receipts. If sales are trending down, they may push out receipts or cancel them altogether. The planners are reforecasting within the open to buy to ensure they do not become over or under inventoried. In the last few sessions, we discussed the balance set and the various metrics that decreased your inventory. Now we will discuss the metric that increases your inventory, receipts. Receipt planning, as we mentioned, is done both pre-season and in-season with open to buy planning. Receipts can be new merchandise or repeat orders of merchandise already in your store. Planners will be planning their receipts to ensure they have enough inventory to meet the sales plan for the forward period. As you can see in our example, our balance set is using months as our time period. Our starting period is February, where our BOP is $1,000. Our sales are deducted from the inventory, so we are subtracting out $255. We add $700 in receipts since it's your gain to inventory. Subtracted $10 for shrink and $20 for the total markdowns combined. We close February at $1,420 under period inventory. February EOP becomes our BOP for March for the same $1,420. Now we subtract our sales, add back in the receipts, subtract shrink and markdowns in March for our end of period inventory. This then becomes April's beginning of period inventory and so on as we go through the month and the year noting the movement of our inventory over time.